start from the book of His Holiness, Pope Shenouda, the seven words of our Lord on the cross. Church A, what did Psalm 22 tell us about Christ? Recite and explain three verses that were mentioned in the psalm and refer to Christ. Support your answer with biblical verses. Church B, Christ represented humanity in so many things, if not in all things. State all three examples from Pope Shenouda's book, supporting your answer biblically when applicable. The Psalm 22 said, uh, I have pierced my hands and my feet, and I can count all my bones. Um, they, um, they look and stare at me. They, they divine uh, the garments and eggmon them, and all my clothing uh, costs lo lots. Christ represented humanity in so many ways. The first one, he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Um, Luke 23, 46. Um, he was saying that he was um, any human saying, oh my God. And um, the other one, when he said, I thirst. Um, John 19, 30. He was thirsty for water like any other human. Um, and the third one was when, um, when he paid out all the sins, when he paid all the sins for people that when he got nothing to do with it. And uh, when he fasted 30 days and 30 nights, when he, he didn't really have to fast. Second question is from the book, How to Benefit from the Holy Liturgy by His Grace, Bishop Mateos. So this question will begin with Church B. What should we do after partaking of the divine sacraments as described by His Grace, Bishop Mateos? Please list all the spiritual practices and bodily practices. For Church A, when a person wants to partake of the Holy Communion, Care must be given concerning eating and sleeping. Please describe in detail the care for eating that a person must adhere to. Describe in detail what the hours represent and the difference between the adults, children, and infants. After partaking of the divine sacraments as described by His Grace, Bishop Mateos, um, for the bodily, bodily practices, you cannot, you cannot smoke, um, you cannot spit, you cannot take a shower, you cannot brush your teeth. Um, and the spiritual practices is to keep the Psalms in your head after taking communion and to also um, pray to the Lord. You have to try not to um, curse or do anything because the Lord is, because the Lord's body is in you. When a person wants to take a holy, take of holy communion, care must be given concerning eating and sleeping. Please describe in detail the care for eating that a person must adhere to. Describe in detail what the what the hours represent and the difference between the adults, children, and infants. So, in order to take communion, you shouldn't eat for nine hours before you take communion, but preferably you shouldn't eat the day of the liturgy and the day you're going to take communion. Also, for children, they should be fasting six hours, and for adults, they should be fasting nine hours. And adults should fast nine hours because that was how long Jesus suffered in trial. Also, after communion, you shouldn't eat any fruits with seeds because that will still be spitting the body and blood out. Also, you shouldn't chew gum or you shouldn't smoke. Church A, uh, what are the four fruits of matrimony? Support with three Bible verses, Church B, what are the three fruits of holy orders? Who are the apostles' successors? And support with three Bible verses. The four fruits of matrimony are protect one another from temptation, have love and unity in Christ, bring more children into the church and raise them as Christians, and preserve the human race. And um, one Bible verse we had, um, it's Arabic, but we translated it into English, but I don't know what Arabic. It's, um, Whatever God unites, humans can't break. The question is, what are the three fruits of the holy orders? Who are apostles, successors? Support with three Bible verses. The fruits of the fruits of the holy orders. The first one is preserving the order of priesthood in the church, 
Shepherd and Parish, and the second one is distributing God's blessing on the congregation and practicing the sacraments of the church. And the third one is teaching the true Christian faith and preaching the Bible. And the three apostle successors, or first one is Bishop, and the verse that supports it is, um, this is the reason I left you in creed, who are setting out the things that are lacking, anointing elders in every city as I command you, Titus 1.5. And the one for a priest is, now you have set, you, now you have anointed the elders in every in church, and praying with fasting, I commended you unto the Lord in whom they had believed, and the verse and the reference is Act fourteen twenty three, and the third one, and the third one is deacons, and it is whom they set up before the apostles, which they had prayed, they laid hands on them, and the reference is Act six six. I'm sure that you're, you're excellent and you're good and, and, and God bless you and work with you always and through you, that you are the future of the church and we hope that we see you, you know, just like, you know, your servants, you're going to be the servants of the, these little kids, you know, that you see in church and, and so forth and this is how our church is down from one generation to the next. Are we ready? Okay, the third place winner, they left, they actually got their prize and they left, but there are St. Mary and Archangel Michael, Connecticut, okay? So they're, they're excellent because they, they came to, they, they were third and fourth and they were competing against each other. And they said, no, we're one church, we don't compete against each other. And they went home as one united group, which is good. So, and um, it's always good to bring your priests with you. Because your priests sit here and pray for you. Apparently, if you are coming with your priest's prayer, you get second place. And the second place winners are DC, St. Mark DC. So come on up, come on up, and Adina's gonna give you the prizes. But if you come with your own priest, each one should carry a priest with them. You come with your own priest. So St. Mark, St. Mark, come up, and Abuna Almea and Abuna Rafil are gonna give you your prize and you take pictures of you. George, Brooklyn. Yeah.